and welcome to Why Is Harriet Crying? With me, Harriet Kemsley, Sidney Patel, and our brilliant guest, Jessica Foster Q. Hi. Hi. That was the most professional intro we've ever done, even I was if shocked. I say so I myself. I loved it. <laughs> I just... <laughs> I just said all the information at the top, which has never happened before. <laughs> really good. We've Thank never you. yet we've yet to explain what this podcast is about during the podcast, so we should yeah. probably start today. You just let it. You, you don't need to say it's good. It's a well written podcast where you, you're showing rather than telling. Oh, okay. All right. What the podcast is about? Well, that's well. We should tell the complainers that, shouldn't we? We should <laughs> yes. tell we the people that complain. No, don't tell the complainers, Sunil. I've explained this. Sorry, show. Show them. How yeah. much we don't care what they say. Yeah. Wow. You show them a slowly raised middle finger. <laughs> creaking. So to all our Patreon subscribers. Thank you. <laughs> no, not the subscribers. <laughs> not to them. Not to they them. They can complain. We'll listen to their complaints. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they get well, the we count one. their money. Yeah. Yes, I'm looking at your bookshelf now. It's pretty oh, good quality. No. Pretty good quality uh, camera. Watchmen. DVDs. Because I'm s- lots of DVDs. That's late. Space. She's looking down a barrel of forty, isn't she? She's got all those. <laughs> do you have a DVD Still got loads player? of DVDs. I do Ooh. have a child who's talking in the background of the podcast, and yes, I do have a DVD player, an antique. <laughs> it's a Blu-ray player, but it plays DVDs. DDDs. <laughs> yeah, my brother. When my um, I've got a half brother who's only um twenty, and then when he was a toddler, he couldn't say DVDs. He said DDDs, and so the whole family mispronounce it now forever and ever and ever. <laughs> it's a started as a m- bit of gentle bullying, and it's continued and become a bit of sort of foster cue lexicon. I think it's better. I prefer it. Yeah, it's easier Thank to say, you. isn't it? Yeah. DDDs. DDDs. What does it stand for DDDs. Anyway? DDDs. Who knows? Digital yeah. versatile disc. Right, well, you Digital know, but... versatile disc. <laughs> That's better. Very nice. Interestingly, the V didn't stand for video, which I find strange. So. Oh. That's for another podcast, so don't worry. That's my other podcast. <laughs> That's my other podcast. What's um, that one about? Like flirting? I do, I, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's about babes tips. just dealing with babes uh, all the I time. don't know if you know but the like uh, the V in DVD actually doesn't stand for video it stands for vagina <laughs> dick vagina uh, dick that's what DVD stands for well Harriet doesn't like me talking about my other podcasts on this one so fair enough yeah fair enough yeah but that podcast does not exist <laughs> I, I wish it I really would like it to happen Really? All yeah, right. it would be a very short podcast. Elliot, will you produce a new podcast for me, please? <laughs> He's not even going to. No, he won't do no, it. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's about, oh, forget it. <laughs> it's gone again. It's, it's gone, gone again. Absolutely gone. Um, <sighs> sorry, right, okay. Uh, so I've got the map, the Amazon map up next to my, my computer. Sunil's got a delivery that's happening in six stops and he's very nervous and he's finding it hard to concentrate. I hate that's delivery. I can't, I wish I could just pick them up from somewhere, but they have to, you know, I don't like... If you miss it enough times, way. you do. Yeah, but I can't leave the house until Thursday. Oh, yeah. I'm quarantining, Jess. Are you? For work? Yeah, yeah well, I've come back and now I can't leave. Uh... Yeah. And um, it's fine. I like it. Okay. It's yeah. like your normal Do life. you live in that pub then? I'm, I'm sta- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm staying here for a bit. Yeah, because oh, okay. I was supposed to move in with uh, Helen Bauer, but her housemates ah. are still waiting to move on. So I'm basically, I've been homeless now for, for quite a bit of time. Um, Harriet offered uh, a room in her house. But, and he uh, chose I... to stay in a pub instead. <laughs> yeah. He said, no, I'd rather... I'd rather not have a home yeah. than run with you. I'd rather be she, homeless than stay with you. And you wonder she, why she's crying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, show not, show not time. Uh, she, um, she offered me the sofa in the same room as the dog. So No, oh. that was a joke. I was going to say you had to stay in the dog crate, but you, it was a joke. And then you, you took it seriously and now you live in a pub. So, <laughs> Well, yeah, I take it seriously because you didn't say anything, anything else. You didn't give me any other options. I thought it was clear I wasn't going to make you sleep in a dog crate. I thought you were just joking overall. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't even know what I and meant. Then, and then Jess, the Jess, then I refused. And then Bobby sent me a separate message saying, please move in. I can't take this anymore. So. 
Yeah. Look at your naughty chuckle. <laughs> <laughs> the cracks in a perfectly lovely Enjoying marriage. That a bit too much, Sunil. Yes. <laughs> Give me a fun. Um, How have you been, Jess? Mixture. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Absolutely fine at the moment. Um, yeah, very mix- mixed I've, um, amount of bean. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I've been like, quite, I think generally in life I'm quite, quite extremely up or down, and this year has just been like, <laughs> my, oh god, just like that on speed, isn't it? Really, like that, but all, all nothing to distract yourself from it. So just very aware. It got to the point in lockdown one where I was like, I could feel. I almost felt off my tits on a strong enough coffee. I'd be like, ooh, 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 ooh. About 10 in the morning, a couple of coffees in, I'd be like, oh, yeah, really happy. I'm almost too happy. I'm not too happy. And I knew there'd be a crash, crash down on those days. Have I stopped drinking strong coffee? No. No. no I live for the highs and the lows. Um, no, I'm all over the shop. But today, absolutely fine, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's so difficult because... We're low, generally, but then everything, and then there's sudden real lows in the world. Yeah. And so if real the two lows meet up, <laughs> chaos. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Harry has been dizzy now for about a month, but it just doesn't really dizzy. matter to anyone. Yeah, I've had vertigo <laughs> for a month. Yeah. Well, that's awful. It's meant to be awful. It's, there are worse things happening in the world, as I keep telling her. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a thing. Yeah, I've been complaining about it more than I should and people have not had much empathy, which is fair yeah. enough. There's a lot going on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's hard, isn't it? It is hard as well. I think it's partic- particularly on the people that you live with, because it's so hard. It is so hard to keep caring about a small. <laughs> not that being dizzy all the time is a small thing. No, thanks, Jess. But yeah. like, even this, it's actually that's actually really important. And if you feel like no one's listening to you about it, just text me, Harriet, because I'll fucking, oh my God, that's I will. Awful. That's all I want. Just someone um, to say, oh, I feel, I'm so sorry for that you. That must but then... be awful, actually. Yeah. Don't walk along any steep edges, please. <laughs> um, Thanks, Jess. Um, yeah, this morning I, I could hear myself saying out loud to my partner, like, oh, I've got a little ulcer there. <laughs> and she didn't react, because who cares? And um, I couldn't stand it. About ten minutes later, I was like, mmm, Owie! Ow! <laughs> oh, my mouth's hurting, where I don't know if you heard earlier. Got a little ulcer in there. And Still nothing. <laughs> she Still just went, nothing. oh, no, after that one, she went, oh, no. Like that. Like, Thank <laughs> That's you. That's worse, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I begged for that. It's like, <laughs> yeah, the joke doesn't work, and you're like, come on! Okay. Please, can you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to explain it? <laughs> Loud, louder. Desperate. No. Really desperate. Yeah, I'll sh- I'm going to try again, but shouted. That's yeah. been my career, yeah. actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, have you... Okay, so have you cried today at all with Rudy? Because we just had him on before we started recording. Rudy did say um, that he cried four times today. Yeah, and he's had four, at least minimum of four cries today. Uh-huh. Rudy's five years old. If you if you listen to this and occasionally you can hear a sort of small, high squeaky voice. Yeah. He, he's got headphones on and playing a game that you win. So he's often shouting out his scores. Or You need to tell him that there's worse. I don't know if you heard it. A little bit ago he went, you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, was that him? Do you think it was me? Where's he learnt that from? Where's he learnt that from? I don't. Honestly, that's not from me. A lot of it... it Can't quite. It's just muttering now. Is I mean, it's literally the worst background noise for a podcast. I'm so sorry. Yeah, he he at age five he cries. Yeah, and it does put me in. You know, it makes me feel better about my crying quantities because he will cry literally every time he doesn't get his way. Which when you're five, you've got no power in the world. So it's yeah. it's really yeah. really frequent crying, <laughs> frequent crying points for that lad. It's a, a lot of big emotions. I get it. And there are, it is often for things that are not fair, you know, that, that don't make any sense. We, it was before we started recording, but he's, one of his cries today was because I wouldn't let him um, dance in front of a moving car. Yeah. <laughs> fair play, to be honest. Yeah, and he yeah. said it was the car's fault for ruining his game. <laughs> oh, that's confidence, isn't it? That's some white man confidence right there. <laughs> we could all do with being a bit more like Rudy. Yeah. 
<laughs> but you're always looking for like self-help sort of tips from people, Harriet. Maybe Ruby yeah. could write write up some notes for you. That would be useful, yeah. Because I yeah. I like that it sounds like he cries unashamed unashamedly. I quite yeah. I quite like that. I I would like more of that confidence. Yeah. Do always, you have guilt about your cries? I always feel embarrassed. You have to do it in private, whereas a child's confidence in those moments is. I'd love that. She doesn't care yeah. what anyone thinks. I do. No. No, oh no, yeah, no. the child. Yeah, the child doesn't. <laughs> yeah. Have you always been quite emotional, Jess? Yeah, I think I have always been quite emotional. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think quite's quite an understatement. Like I don't <laughs> like I. I'm very aware, like, of um, of having like a dial that moves very quickly. So I can be like totally. Oh, just a sort of base level of just sort of. 232. That's <laughs> Whoa. Um, just a base level of contentment is quite a rare yeah. f- feeling. It, whenever I talk about the, ext- the extreme sort of quick shifts in my emotions, like just a. T- oh, what's a good example? I was absolutely. I was in a. I was like, oh, this is not very, very sort of balanced, quite a productive place. Not hi- not, 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 hi- not chipper, not, not um, sad at all. And then like. Um, I I told a friend that um, somebody was being replaced in my work life. Somebody that had commissioned something was being replaced by someone else. And they just went, oh, they took four months to reply to an email from me once, which is just a statement of fact. It's not like a big gr- gruesome warning or anything. And that was it. Like, I, f- I literally could feel the serotonin go like, boom, 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 God. <laughs> oh, and I was just like, I'm really bummed out. You've actually, do you know what? You actually really, you really fucking bummed me out. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh. Yeah, it really just a swear fact. word. Oh. Yeah, they said a little fact, like a little heads up. Yeah. Oh, well, a little heads up, you know, don't be too excited about that. <laughs> you personally <laughs> like. Um, they might take a long time to reply to you. <laughs> and I was like, no, no, no. And then I get on top of that a layer of hatred of myself for having had that enormous reaction, which really doubles down on it. Then you've got. It, oh, it, yeah, it's complicated yeah. and it's tiring, no, I, absolutely tiring. Uh, the, whenever I talk about the extremity of my emotions, I do think I can hear myself and think maybe you should try some of the drugs that left you out. <laughs> 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 if I'm honest. <laughs> I think that shows so much awareness, though, I think, because I often I don't even know what is I don't even know that I'm emotional or that I'm having a feeling. I'm yeah. just like, I just accept that is what is happening and I'm in that but then you you have that awareness to be like this has made this happen and then that's made me judge myself on top of that it's almost even yeah. worse isn't it knowing that what's met this has made this happen and now I feel bad because I know that yeah, yeah. the problem is like, how do you fix it well, you're in an ideal situation Harriet because you don't know what's happening really. <laughs> yeah ignorance is bliss actually yeah. Easy for me, like just a child's wandering ignorance around. <laughs> 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 yeah yeah. Sunil, have you ever had that? I Yeah, I know what you mean. Like, it's quite interesting. Very few people talk about disappointment, like that, like what you were saying, Jess, with the email and stuff. But it is such a huge thing with what we mm. do. It's like, you're always yeah. going to be hit with disappointment. And then you're always told, like, everyone always says, like, oh, you know, it's a marathon, not a sprint. And you always remember that. And you go, well, I fucking just want the marathon to be over, please, at some point. <laughs> yeah. And I just want just the like, medal Christ. at the end. And, the... And, then, and then, yeah, and you're supposed to be like, <clears throat> you're supposed to do it for the enjoyment of the work and everything. But then how, like, you need measurements. You well need done. stuff like that and all of that well stuff. Done. It marathons just... aren't fun. No one. Marathons are no. not Why fun. Why do you? You wouldn't sign up for a marathon. <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't do that, would you? You wouldn't, you wouldn't whole... sign up for a career in comedy for a charity. <laughs> it just doesn't end. <laughs> you know, I'm point I'm at Millen, I'm going to have it. a career in charity. <laughs> <laughs> at some point, my nipples are going to bleed. At some point, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to need someone to sort of squeeze a little energy pouch in yeah, my yeah, mouth. Yeah. 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 When's that going to happen? When's that yeah. going to happen? Oh, I'd love I do that. find that, like, and everybody needs it different. But the problem is, as well, when you do find a fix for anything like that, like, be like, well, I found I'm happier if I live like this. It's not permanent, <laughs> is it? No, like, no. you've also, like, in a couple of years, your situation, your career's different, the sort of work you're doing more of is different. So you need to change it up. Like, yeah. it is. I've got a thing recently where I found, I don't know how long it will last for, but um, especially with acting work, that um, it, it you don't get to be happy unless you take the risk of being happy often before a part is yours. I, I don't know yeah. if you've agreed. I think the happiest part, 
the only thing funner than actually acting is getting a part. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, that yeah. feeling yeah. of like, yeah. you've got a part, it's like, oh, yeah. yeah. But often you don't get a part, you get a pencil yeah. and then a heavy pencil <laughs> and you get all these, you might have the part. Yeah. And unless you choose, <laughs> unless you choose to get off your tits happy on a maybe... Yeah. You will never get the joy of getting the part because then you get it dragged out with the maybe you have, maybe you have for so long that when you get it, all you've got is like, oh, good, what a relief. Yeah. You don't yeah. get the happy bit. So you've got to take the risk of being happy about maybe having a job that you maybe haven't. And then you, you do it and then you're like, when's the, ne- when's the next one though? Yeah. When is the and next one, please? The panic of doing a good job. As soon as you've got over the excitement of having it, then very quickly it's the stress of, can you do it? Are you going to be good enough? <laughs> yeah. 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 Will yeah, they yeah, like yeah. me? Will they like me enough? <laughs> What do I deserve like it? Me. Will anybody have I got enough tokens for someone else to look after my child? That all the practical implications of it come yeah. in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God. How's he getting on? Um, Rudy, how are you getting on? What's your score? <laughs> Only five. He's fuming. Oh, was it two, three, two, two a minute ago? Wow. He was in two, three, two. So he's probably had to start another game, yeah. He got 441. <laughs> um, yeah, it just, it's you game see, after game. It just rolls on. You see, he's got it right. You just keep playing and keep racking up points, keep losing and then start again. Yeah. He's going to be an excellent gambling addict. <laughs> <laughs> Training him with that dopamine, yeah. <laughs> Training him with that, yeah, yeah. Sweet, sweet. Don't stop until you're completely dopamine. out. Yeah. <laughs> Do yeah, you find so having a, piggy bank. do you find having a kid helps with your emotions? Because I guess you have to try and pull it together. I've never had mm. to. Oh. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> or you're meant to at least. I think you're meant to. But yeah. I guess it's good to be honest and show what, how you really feel. I guess that's yeah. That's good. It makes me. I think it definitely. There's an element of keeping it together in the sense you not you don't get to completely and utterly unravel unless things are yeah. really bad. But equally, nothing has pushed me to the edge ever as much. <laughs> you found new limits, though. You found limits yes, that probably weren't there. I have. Yeah, yeah. And equally, it's not so much now. It was like the ages of two and three yeah. were frankly cat- cataclysmic. <laughs> and I just had to do... I just cried... I, it got to the point, violence-wise, him, not me, don't <laughs> ring anyone, um, that I um, that I would, I would... Actually, the only way to snap him out of it was to like show you real feelings and cry and cry. Not get angry, that always escalates it. But if I'm, if I'm bottling anger, then there will be tears. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 yeah. I, my, I don't think my parents ever explained to me how they were feeling. They just told me to do this or that. Yeah. Uh, but then did you do it? Because it's also the other thing about even parenting a five year old is, is it's it's sort of like being gaslit really badly. Because <laughs> you it's like they pretend you're not there. You're like, yeah. Okay, okay, so it's time to you need to go try for a wee now. Like your legs are crossed, you're hopping, you're like shaking with how much there's how much piss is in the tank. You need to go for a wee now. And then it will be like you're not there. It's like you didn't say anything, it's like you're not there. Another and then suddenly they're sat in a puddle of their own wee. Uh, yeah, that was a good end. Yeah. Um I <laughs> I just need to answer the door. Okay, great. <laughs> you answer the door, Sunil. <laughs> I think um, I think Sunil could do with um, being pushed. I think a kid would really help him to feel yeah. some emotions. To feel some feelings. Yeah, I think that would be a really good idea. I love the idea of um, Sunil potentially. I think one, you know, even the most like dead inside, repressed, toxic Thank man. You. Not that Sunil's <laughs> any of those things. <laughs> for sure. Dead inside, but you can't. I, I, as I understand it, witnessing the birth, or like you know, being there when your first born is born, or any of your borns is born, that's pretty hard not to shed a tear in that moment. Do you think you'd manage to not cry, Sunil, even if you watched your child enter the world? I couldn't even imagine what that'd be like. I see loads of people crying, and I'm like, I don't get it. But you have to yeah. be in there, don't you? you oh, to... I don't think you're meant to care about anyone else's child. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no true <laughs> yeah I, I mean will. they spe- don't babies specifically look like their biological dad so that so they? that they make they're conjured into feeling is that true feeling. yeah and don't run away and understand that it's theirs yeah that's mad they all come out looking like their dads all right, well, I'll, I'll, their I'll, I'll cry then for appearance's health. sake but, yeah, yeah with a beard little bearded baby and glasses full thick yeah. head of hair yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! <laughs> um, sorry, the, 
the Amazon man just said, um, he just called me sad. Because uh, oh. I said, oh, I saw you arriving on the app. And he went, well, that's sad, isn't it? That's just sad. <gasps> <laughs> oh. He got you. Yeah, and I was like, is he joking? I don't know. At least he's called you emotional, though, in a way. Yes. Yes. No, that's, is it emotional to be? Pathetic. (laughs) Is pathetic an emotion? (laughs) (laughs) I don't know, but you're feeling it. It is now. (laughs) Or on top of my admin. I don't know what, you know, fine. Yeah, 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 good for you. I was just saying, I think it would be really good if you had a kid, because I think you could do with being pushed a bit. Yeah, I think think having a kid's good for people. Yeah, I think, like, a lot of people... It's great for them. A lot of people are scared of having children because they think it'll get in the way. But for most people I've spoken to that have kids, it's been an absolutely... Well, it's been the best thing, obviously. It's been great. Yeah, but it does get in the way. To All be right. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> 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 the thing is, yeah, it does, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It, but it gives you... I do... I would... I think I can imagine it giving you a million times more emotions. Yeah, no, but sure. it also does get in the way, and you then you'll have all these emotions for the first time ever, and be having to learn how to keep them yeah. in check. And I'd have so to, it's a I'd, I'd have to prioritize sword. everything in my life. I'd have to like yeah. stop doing stuff that I, you know, yeah, just not waste any time, which I love doing. But you know, yeah, has Harriet yeah, told yeah. you how none of her family have ever asked if her and Bobby are having a baby soon? Oh, yeah. No, I love that. Are they still haven't? Have they still not? Now they've started to mention it, I think. That, but it's, yeah, for a long time, it was just like... Four they years were just, in they now, were at, Their main thing was how they didn't want me to get a dog. That was, they were very... <laughs> so is that why you've got a dog? That. To sort of see if they'll keep the dog alive no, no and then idea. hope that a few of them will start asking you to breed? Yeah, that someone oh, might God. be like, come on. <laughs> Come on, guys, you're getting older. It's time. No one said that, have they? No, no one my mum has... To, we've started to talk about it more. But, I, yeah, for it was for a very... It's, I think usually... Because all my friends were like, once you get married, like all your friends start asking you about it um, and all your family start. And then no one did. Literally none of us have asked you if you're having kids at any point. I don't know yeah. what it is. Just can't imagine it. They were just like, please, no. It's, it's, it's hard enough for you guys to get by day to day. <laughs> oh god well you've got like you're all set up to have kids basically soon aren't you really yeah I just I can't I just there's just not much hope for it you Would know you? what I mean like with me and Bobby's genetics I just I can't imagine it it's just gonna be worst case dizzy and confused and it's gonna be a dizzy confused baby Canadian yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's gonna be Canadian so anger management on. problems <laughs> yeah yeah. Allergic to fruit and veg. Yeah, we've always said it's going to be called Gweeble and it's just going to be Come bumping on. into furniture and crying. <laughs> <laughs> and then just becoming inexplicably angry at itself. <laughs> I love. I think it's going to go the other way and you're going to have like a baby Hercules, like a little yeah. invincible golden bollocks, and good looking, it... clever, popular, <laughs> really like or muscly. The of us. Like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> super tall like Incredible. yeah I'd love to see Aryan, that good I'd looks. love to see that parents evening where this super good looking tall ba- baby is just like I don't know who these guys I don't know who they are I, yeah. they just turn I don't up. know yeah. no idea where they came from <laughs> think I'm adopted <laughs> is your what about your sister is she does she get asked that as well or is it just you Harriet my sister I don't know I don't, don't know, know. And I don't or your think brother my brother is um yeah, I think they probably would more because they're probably more together. I think it's just like, I, I'm more together now, but I think for a while it was just like, oh God. Just... But you think everyone is together and you aren't, but I don't think that's entirely the truth. Yeah. 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 <laughs> just thinking about it. <laughs> just thinking about it, yeah. I th- yeah, I think especially at the moment, it just feels like everything is just chaos and everything is going badly. But then it's just reminding yourself that most people feel that way at the moment. Yeah. But yeah. it just, I just, I'm not good. I think because I feel like other people are maybe better at putting on a front and pretending that things are going well. And I think I've never no, been able I to I need pretend. to learn how to do that as yeah. well. Like how? Like, then? you know. How does that? Well, how, what just like I think just that like, 
you know, well, my girlfriend and I went for a walk with some friends we hadn't seen for ages, and they were like, how's things going? And I was like, oh, well, very up and down. <laughs> and she was like, mm, yeah, well, we've done, well, we've done lots of lovely, we've had lots of lovely times as well, haven't we? <laughs> you know, and I, and I forget that that is what you're meant to do, I think. It's meant to go, oh, yeah, great. You know, and if you're talking for long enough, maybe you can get into some of this slightly yeah. shitter stuff, but don't open with, like, <laughs> oh, really? Up your shit. Well, yeah. <laughs> you know, open with a nice, you know, say, you have a bit of front, you know, yeah, just yeah, for yeah. the sake of kindness and interest <laughs> in others' <laughs> feelings, you know. Well, I don't, I mean, like, I, yeah, I, I don't think you can put a front on, though. I don't think Harriet can put a front on it. It would just be such an about turn to how she's been all her life. Yeah. To suddenly be like, how can you even pretend to be confident? I don't even know if that's a thing. Oh, it happens all the time. Is it? How do you do it? How do you pretend to be um, confident? I think you see it lots in t- um, kind of younger people, especially in comedy, where you've got like young... this like swagger. It's but younger I people mean, have that because they haven't seen enough and they haven't been hurt. Yeah, haven't had any hard knocks. Nothing and that's what, to I shake thought the hard it, knocks were supposed to make you more confident anyway. Oh. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Real confident. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't want that path. I don't want that path. No I path. just didn't. Re- I didn't realize for a long time that people that seemed confident could be the most underconfident because I just thought that yeah. people could chat to everybody and fit, seem like everything is together yeah. but they're often the ones that I get told are the least confident and everyone's yeah. like they're just being that because they're underconfident then you're like totally I think it's the really people nice. that have got like full you know makeup tutorials knockers out all over <laughs> social media the people who describe themselves as kaweens yeah, you're like yeah. nah you're in trouble yeah you're lonely, something's wrong, something's bad, relationship's gone to shit, career's not where you want it. If you, no one needs to call themselves that. Like, I think anyone who's like, <laughs> anyone yeah. who's, you know, day in, day out, two thumbs up, yeah. must be struggling in reality. It's like, in that same, it's like the classic, isn't it? Anyone who needs to go, oh, I'm crazy me. It's like, no, no, you're boring, you're normal. Yeah. Like, you, you, don't, you don't need to tell us. If you <laughs> Tell us, don't show us. Show us, don't tell us your success in, your, in yourself. Yeah. Well, so wait, good. that means I'm actually really together by what yeah. you just said, Sunil. Yeah. Yeah, I, I never said you weren't. I've never said you weren't together. You just together. said it would be very hard to imagine you being together. No, pretending to be together. Pretending okay. to be together. Like, I mean, I'm living in a I'm living in a pub. Like what? <laughs> that's true. That's true, actually. <laughs> what is? <laughs> yeah. There's a ladder behind you. There's, I, I can't move it. I don't know where to move it to. <laughs> Has it got heating in there? Um, that's what I was yeah, about. Yeah, a couple of hours a day. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's very. I hope warm. your Amazon delivery was loads of fleeces. <clears throat> no, it's fine. It was. It was really. I. I basically, as soon as I arrived here, um, I'd spent like two days in my old place getting rid of all the moths that were there. I set right. off loads of smoke bombs. And I thought, right, I've got rid of them all, and that kills everything out of my clothes. Got here, took the duvet off the bed. There were just two moths just chilling out. There. <gasps> oh. <God. laughs> No. And I thought, oh, it could be a one-off. Could just be a one-off, these these couple of lads. Then I went away for two weeks, came back on Friday, just moved my pillow, another moth, another, another moth. <laughs> oh, no, God. Oh, dear. So we're going to set some smoke bombs off this week, I think. And uh, yeah. Do you think yeah. you brought them with you? No, I definitely mm. didn't because I killed all mine and everything is vacuum sealed. It's been a real... Well, do you think that they've talked, though? They've, <laughs> they've heard you've got a good mm. cashmere selection. I think one of them flew up the road and told the other lads and said, yeah. right, let's come yeah. on. Let's well, this him. guy's just killed 800 of my mates. <laughs> and, um, Women and babies as well. Revenge. I killed them all. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> wow. We've got to kill the larvae, haven't you? Because they're the ones that are deep in the fibres. I hope you haven't got a huge vegan listenership. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but... We've talked vegans... about rat killing a lot, to be fair. Oh, Har- actually, Harriet... I love that episode. I Harriet... To it. Yeah, Harriet kills a lot of animals. She just doesn't yeah. <laughs> like to By accident, it. often. <laughs> yeah. By often. accident, sorry. <laughs> often. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about the deliberate killings you've done, please. Well, that was the rats. Oh. But actually, I don't think any ever got killed. He had the air pellet gun. Um, but it, it went free. It went over Bobby's foot and out into the estate. So it's free. Oh, yeah. He must be a good shot uh, if he's going to shoot it with an air gun. He wasn't. And he was absolutely terrified <laughs> of the rats. He was like edging like slowly like behind me. And I was like, you, are, you we're paying you. Like, why are you nervous to go in the room where the rats are? 
<laughs> wow. Great. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. But then there is a... I did let that cat free. There was a cat. The woman that lived here left the cat. Just left a cat behind. <gasps> um, I'm not the cat. Which we story. think is a what? bit out of order. She left the rats and a cat. And then we found the cat and then we tried to bring it in. And then Bobby left for 20 minutes. And while he was gone, I lost the cat. <gasps> um, but then we found the cat again. And we think she's pregnant. Oh, no. And she lives well, how's this story going to end, I wonder? How will this <laughs> <Yeah>. journey end? <laughs> <laughs> Dawn the cat. She oh, lives in the no. bush around the corner. You could She's be. in the bush around the corner. Yeah, Bobby's very invested. He goes every day and gives her food and water. I, I'm not that into her, to be honest. But does she not want to come indoors? She was refusing no, to keep I, running I out. No, I brought her in and she lost her shit and somehow managed to get out yeah, within could, 20 yeah. minutes. Yeah, he basically imprisoned She her. ate a hole in the door. Yeah. <laughs> yes, she <laughs> tunneled her way out desperately. Oh, yeah, can't, can't be confined, Dawn. No. But yeah. She's going to have babies. Then I think we're going to have... Then you're going to have cats. cats. We're going to have cats. Yeah. (laughs) Um, I was going to ask how Sonor Patel the dog was doing. Uh, Very well, actually. Um, Quite big. We we got a puppy, Jess, and um, he's named after Sunil. Um, (laughs) (laughs) He's called Sunil Patel the dog. Um, Yep. (laughs) Yep. (laughs) Very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Do you endorse... Did a competition, a comedy crafts competition on Saturday, Nothing. and <gasps> I had to record all these videos for it. And um, so now the dog came last. <laughs> <laughs> who won? I don't oh, know. God. I don't know who won. <clears throat> Stuart was like, he was like, he lost because I was like, this is a fix. I don't, I don't understand how he could have lost. Like yeah. he's so lovely, um, but then he said um, he is lost it the, the loveliest rounds. dog competition. <laughs> Pardon? It's not the loveliest dog competition, though, is it? It can't have been, because he would have won that. <laughs> I think it was just he couldn't do it. He couldn't actually do any of the the rounds. Right. And he um, didn't have any skills. <laughs> and <laughs> obedience. didn't have any skills to win. But none he of the said, skills. None of the obedience. None of the <laughs> not um, obedient, looks. Not well behaved. Not yeah. well trained. Um, I got sent a yeah. picture of him the other day, um, lying on the ground, refusing to walk any further on his daily walk. <laughs> Yeah, just sometimes splayed just, out on the ground. He just he got yeah completely. Um, oh, I saw that on the internet. <laughs> he, he did it three times on the walk today. He's just three like, times. Nah. He just stopped, did he? Yeah, but oh. he li- lies down like this. So you just can't move him at all. And if you pull, it's then pretty he's just incredible like... the power of this pandemic. If it's even made dogs sick of walks. <laughs> <laughs> That's one samey year, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's only Even three months old like, as well. Walkies, get fucked. <laughs> yeah. oh. All he's ever known is the pandemic. Old yeah. Yeah. Dog. That's all he's ever known. Yeah. I know. Oh, so no, but tell the dog. Yeah. Um, he d- yeah, we saw um, uh, we saw a friend of ours the other day, and um, he wouldn't stop um, humping him. Um, but then oh, um, Sean. Um, no, um, our friend Johnny. Um, and then he wouldn't stop humping his leg and then Johnny was like it's like we've just because he hasn't met many people it was like we've just brought him a man to hump <laughs> <laughs> he was having a great time we're going to get him fixed though soon yeah please yeah <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah you can't have kittens and puppies no not horny puppies and kittens yeah. angry kittens Bush and kittens. rats and rats <laughs> yes, it's all go here <laughs> Um, so have there been any, like, have you had any real lockdown lows? Like I've had real moments of, um, like the other day I got, well, that was also dizziness, but I just couldn't get off the ground. <laughs> what? Was when was this? I was meant to see Sunini, but then I'd done a Zoom call and everyone was moving around and then my brother kept showing all these flashing lights. So then I just... <laughs> What? Got really to dizzy. make you dizzy? No, I think he was just show- he just wanted to show the flashing lights. Then he was like, "Oh, sorry, Harriet, but it was too late and I was really dizzy." So then I was yeah. going to see Sneen. I couldn't get off the ground. Then I was just crying on the ground. Um, so that's I think so that was that's partly been... lockdown related, but also yeah. wow. that I couldn't get off the ground. <clears throat> I mean, you've been crying for the last month now about this, but I get it. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Yeah, it's also it's just not... Bobby's not. He is like he has started to listen more, but it's like it's wearing quite thin. I think. But the more someone doesn't want to listen, the more, like, I'm often like, <laughs> feel dizzy again now. And he's like, okay. And then a bit later, I'm like, 
feel a bit worse, feel a bit dizzy. It's but what like, do you want oh, him to yeah. do though? What do you want? How, what's the talk about it? Why <laughs> talk about it for a while? <laughs> for a while. <laughs> just, just, for a while. Yeah. just like just a kill few some time with this conversation. A few times a day, just listen to my symptoms. Yeah. And um, sympathise and say, mm. oh, that must be really hard. Snell, have you had oh. any lockdown lows? At all. Well, yeah. I mean, like, yeah, but what, as in, like, feeling sad? Yeah. I don't really know. Not, I mean, like, because not really. <laughs> but, like, I... <laughs> Can you imagine that? That's yeah. incredible. Well, sick. yeah, I probably have. I probably, I was a bit sick of it at one point. Like, maybe Christmas was a bit boring, but, like... <laughs> I, <laughs> I like that you didn't even say lonely. You just said boring. No, everyone thought I was lonely. They all kept checking in with me three times a day. So most of my day it was like six hours a day of just Zoom calls, which is nice. But you know, it's trying to bat away people. I wasn't batting away people. <laughs> I was just <laughs> too loved, <clears throat> too loved. Not that it's boring, just, it's isn't it? It's, it's so no, because <laughs> everyone. Be hard to know. No, it's fun. It's fun. I like it. I I probably I've probably seen more of my friends. I've seen more of my friends in one go. Uh, so there's people looking into the pub now. There's people looking into the pub. Uh, there's, I've seen more of my friends in one go during the pandemic than I would have, you know, normal times because what illegally or on no 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 as in on Zoom because it's so yeah, yeah. it's so uh, strange to have so many people together in one go, free. But um, yeah. lows yeah. in terms of like, I probably put on about eight kilos between October and November because I just had two beers a night. That was a low. Is that, does that count? <laughs> no, it does not. count. It's <clears> so okay. measured. It's so measured as well. <laughs> yeah. I had two <laughs> beers a night. So I put on a quite a small amount no, of I... weight. I put on an imperceptible <laughs> no. amount. I put a beard hideable amount of weight on from having an absolutely sensible amount of alcohol. Well, it's because like, I'd get into a routine of doing things yeah, and then I'd find it very hard to break it. Uh, and then yeah. just and then I then the next routine was going out every morning, getting a coffee and, and two pano chocs and just having <laughs> <laughs> What do, I, what do I want two for? And then just, I, honestly, the biggest joy of the pandemic for me, the only thing I, you can like really look forward to every day is what you're going to eat. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I, it's it. so hard, isn't it, that? And then being oh. like, well, take joy where there is joy. Oh, yeah, God, yeah, yeah, do yeah. I need to take this much joy? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's been a year of trying to dance that tentative line. I've also had to come to terms with the fact that I'm like, definitely on the spectrum as a feeder, not like yeah. a... Not in any kind of, don't make a documentary about me, but like, <laughs> you know, the, the conversations we have here about like, oh, maybe, you know, I might try and listen to my hunger and my fullness a bit more. Blah, blah, blah. Mm. And then I was like, yeah, maybe like, I don't know. Oh, uh, I should maybe bring s- s- less stuff back, like when I've just popped out. And she, <laughs> she was like, yeah, 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 maybe a bit like. And then she was like, because like yeah. today, and I was like, mm. and she was like, I hadn't asked for anything today. And I was like, no. And she was like, and you bought me two pan of chocolates and a chocolate like thing in a cone. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Didn't ask for them. Three items. One item you could be like, it's just a loving partner. I yeah, thought yeah. of you. Three items. It's like, I could eat that. Eat that. <laughs> Are you eating the same for yourself? Or I'm, you just feel I'm not able to verbalise everything <laughs> I feel. Here's some sugary objects. Um, are you are you having the same amount of food, or are you just giving it giving it? I uh, in diff- in some contexts, yes. In other yeah. contexts, no. I don't like I don't I don't care about sweet things and small pastry oh, things like that. What? But I am I fa- I find it incapable. I I find it I find it impossible. Yeah. Um, to like have a normal amount of a dinner or a lunch if it's nice. Like I, I feel know. like my. I, I'm trying to listen to my fullness, and it's like, well, I've been listening for a very long time. I've been eating for I've been eating for an hour now, and I'm still listening for it. Like I just, have, I have days where I feel bottomless. Yeah, I'm the same. I, I don't really get full. I don't understand yeah. the concept of being. I could just continue, you, and yeah, even you're like just if topping I am up, aren't full, you? half an hour later, I'm ready to go. Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah. percent ready yeah. to go. And it's been there have been times where I've been like, well, I don't feel like I'm eating that much more, but. I, I'm doing Christmas poos. <laughs> so yeah, 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 yeah. I think this, I, this I know bad. when I'm doing two a day that that's like we've eaten too <laughs> yeah. much. So. Yes, we've <laughs> we've really up the and all whilst moving less. <laughs> yeah, I, really... I, I'd always comfort myself by saying, "Look, it's only a short period of time, and then once we're yeah. out and about, I'll be wandering, using a bit more energy, and, and yeah. I and I'm now 
I can't keep clinging on to that hope because it's going to come on so slowly and I'll still be eating the same amount. It's yeah. going to be, yeah. But yeah, yeah I can't. Well, I, it will like, be the summer as well. I think that will be a nice thing about creeping back to normality. None of my shirts fit, Jess. <laughs> what do you mean it'll be nice in summer? <laughs> That's worse, isn't it? Maybe it's I'll worse. be showing my nipples Maybe, to everyone. At least, we'll be, at least we'll be coming back into the real world as we're expected to be partially naked in front of strangers. Yeah, great. At great. least, we'll be, at least yeah. we'll be having to pretend we're confident in these bodies immediately, probably in front of the people we've seen the least of and our families, the ones who judge us on yeah. our bodies the most. Get your body out, everyone will be saying. We are not a good enough feminist. God. Yeah, <laughs> I, um, I I went to see a physio and he said I've got a hump. <laughs> oh really? What your your hump? I didn't hear that. An actual <laughs> a hump. Do you mean it though? That yeah. well, he was like he was like concerned. So I what, guess that a posture related item. Yeah, I think it's yeah. like a hump, like a neck yeah. hump, maybe tech, just from tech sitting. Neck, just they like call it. they call a it what? Tech, neck. tech neck when you like uh, yeah too much neck, tech like that on the phone. Just too, too much tech. Too much tech. Yeah. yeah. Right. What are you going to do about I'll that? I'll spend the rest of the podcast like that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jess. Um, yeah, I think um, I think probably just have to pay a lot of money to this physio man to try and fix it. Yeah, just chuck money at it. That's what I'll do. Yeah. Do yeah, yeah, good yeah. one. <laughs> do you want to... We always end the podcast, Jess, with um, a sad story. Do you want to hear a sad story? Yeah. Okay. Do you, though, because it's not good. It is. Oh, I do. Love sad stories. <laughs> <laughs> Crocodile seen eating shark in remarkable images. It's always we so turn loud to see that. Okay. What? <laughs> you just come in really loud on the. <laughs> <laughs> Crocodile seen eating shark. <laughs> hey, what, 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 the emotion sad bit. behind really? it. Really? Yeah. Right. Really yeah. No. Throwing okay. out the sad bit now. We turn to see the shark <laughs> thrashing away in the crocodile's mouth. It's a video, isn't it? It's a video, and you're reading it oh, out. Oh no. The 46-year-old described the once-in-a-lifetime experience, saying that he had been completely taken by surprise when it occurred only 60 feet from where he was standing. How oh, is this sad? <laughs> because a shark got eaten unexpectedly. You don't even like sharks. Never like sharks. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good point. If this is about a dolphin. We'd... <laughs> yeah, what's the sad bit? Is it the unexpected bit? The shark gradually moved left until it's not it even unexpected. swallowed whole head first. It was gradual. It it's not in. even unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> What's sad about moving left? <laughs> the crocodile can be seen with its mouth closing in on the 100-pound bull shark pup. In the oh, next, pup, the shark pup, is firmly sad, between yeah. the reptile's jaws on its way to its fate. So they, it was on its way to a fate? <laughs> <laughs> something. It's quite sad. Little pup on the way to a fate. Poor little pup on its way to a country fair. It usually lives off fish. However, it po- points out that they will attack almost anything unfortunate enough to cross its path. Zebras, small hippos, porcupines, birds and other crocodiles. It seems that the young shark was unfortunate enough to do so. Did that make you feel anything, Sunil? Tell me what website you got the story from. No, it was... It no, was the... come on. <laughs> Just tell me. <laughs> okay, there have been a few recently from the Mirror, but that was from The Independent. <laughs> Ever heard of it? Yeah, I have. Independent News, Sunil? Yes, I've heard of it, yes. And why was that in a newspaper? What? I don't really know, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. <now> that... <laughs> but did that make you feel anything? Because that no. poor shark had no idea what was going to happen that day. Well, I it's... nearly felt things towards the end. I nearly had a yeah. feeling. I had probably, I reckon I had about a third of a feeling. (laughs) (laughs) I, uh, no, nothing at all. I mean, this is what, it's like a nature program documentary. They're sad when you see it, you know, when you see like little flamingos get eaten. Nearly done, Mr. Boy. Oh, if there was a flamingo, that would have been worse. Exactly. If you'd chosen a better, cuddlier animal, it would have been fine. I thought you liked sharks, though. What makes you think I like sharks? What do you always say about apex predators? I think they're funny. Sharks. Uh, yeah, I think I think it's funny to call yourself a shark. Hello, he Rudy. Is. Rudy, do you like sharks? Rudy, do you like sharks? They've just asked. Oh, even waiting for you to answer that. <laughs> do you like sharks, Rudy? He's too busy looking at himself. <laughs> what is he? Is that what he's yeah. doing? Yeah. Rudy, do you like sharks? I just said the answer. I didn't hear it. Oh, yeah, that's not words. I think so. This is a podcast that people will listen to. 
So you need to say your response <laughs> rather than like know. you don't know. Don't know. Fair enough. enough. I thought all Fair kids enough. love sharks. But no, they're right. scary. Yeah, that's why they're like. They are a bit scary. Do you want to hear a sad Quite story? A good, yeah, Rudy, do you want to hear? The crocodile ate a shark, Rudy, that was on its way to a fate. <laughs> so does that make, yeah, fate, like a fair. Um, and like a theme, like to Legoland. I yeah, didn't much. know that um, crocodiles eat sharks. Yeah. Well, yeah. Thank yeah. you, Rudy. Yeah. It's unusual. Yes. yes. And would you say that that's a sad story or how has it made you feel any feelings? To hear about the um, crocodile. Bit yeah. awkward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair play. <laughs> yeah. It is awkward. The other awkward thing is that why would a shark go for a bumpy slide? <laughs> yeah, that's awkward too, isn't it? It's almost like I made that bit of the story up. <laughs> Good shark impression, though. Yeah. Rest of the shark. Oh, he's a dinosaur oh, fan. That's why he doesn't like sharks. Yeah. He's chosen a yeah. team. That is he's a great punch. Him in the just a couple of punches to the <laughs> armpit. A couple of slaps to the armpit. <laughs> Don't sniff it. Oh, God. He's self sabotaging this one. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, okay. Well, right. thank you so much, Jess. Yeah. Oh, thanks for thanks, having guys. me. Headbutt to the knocker happening now. Um, oh. Jess, do you have any. <laughs> Coming up, or um, what's your um? <laughs> what are you doing, I um, I've got a um, a story on Radio Four that should be on BBC Sounds, Ooh. and I think it's called "Better the Better the Devil You Know." Um, that I wrote and I'm reading it like and telling. Lovely. That's probably it. And I've got a podcast called Hoovering About Eating. There you go. Great. Follow yeah. you on at Jessica Foster Q. Everything. There we go. Yeah. Brilliant. Thanks for having me. I love this podcast. Ow! <laughs> it's all over. It it's all over. It's got no sound. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we'll get Rudy on at some point as well. Get yeah. yeah. Hands. You're going to have to do this podcast at some point. There's no fee, Rudy. Oh, he's left. <laughs> he's gone. He's gone to play with a ribbon that he took off a memorial. In oh, the now he goes. <laughs> Did he? Did he? Take off yeah. I think it was off some terrible child art, but it, we were worried enough to leave quickly. Good, good. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> shall we leave you to it? Yes, thank you so much. Thank you for having thank me. Thank you so much, Jess. We love you. I love you. you. Take care. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye bye.